Hey YouTubers, welcome to my YouTube channel, Roland Martin here, and today I'm going to show you the proper way to throw a cast net and to save hundreds of dollars on catching your own shiners, catching your own bait. I'm going to throw a big 10 foot cast net, I'm going to show you all the techniques in throwing it, but first I'm going to show you how I set up the chum situation, how I actually get the shiners to find a good spot to chum. Okay, let's look at this spot right here. What we have here, I'm, I'm in the middle of Fellsmere Lake, actually, well, it's a, what they call a headwaters pond, and it's a big hydrilla flat. This is all hydrilla out there, and it's all little patches of, of uh, hyacinths. And right here, I've put a pole in the water. I've put a big white pole. And what, what's right out here in front of that pole, right, right in there, is just like an open spot, there's no hydrilla. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some chum and I'm going to chum that spot. I'm going to let it kind of sit. I'm going to chum about half a dozen spots and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the proper techniques for throwing a cast net. Okay, now I've done this for years and I, I'm kind of a pro at doing this and I catch my own bait all the time. And the whole reason why I'm doing this is the chiners are $24 a dozen. Okay. I like to fish like eight dozen shiners. That's $200 worth of shiners. I'll catch $200 in the next couple hours. I'll catch that many shiners for tomorrow's fishing. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hog food, okay? This is the hog food that I use. It's a granular form of, it's a mixture of alfalfa and all kind of different things. And I'll take a scoop of it like this. I'll take several scoops of it. That's a scoop and little granules of that feed. I'm gonna throw it right out here by that pole. So what I'm gonna do, I got the pole in the water and now I'm gonna just throw it right out, right in front of that pole because that's where I'm gonna throw the net. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a couple of them. I'm gonna do a couple, a couple more. Scoops. Three or four scoops. Okay. Good, good, good cast. Okay, folks. <clears throat> okay, now I've, I've put about three big scoops of, uh, of, of hog feed in there. I'm gonna put this away. And I'm going to go chum up about three or four more places. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the proper technique of throwing the cast net. Okay, now I'm back at the first hole. I got my shiner pole right here and I got a, I've got been chumming right here. I have some chum in this bucket. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little water in there. Not much, just a little bit. And I'm going to make like a, like a broth of them. I'm just going to kind of mix it up. And just kind of make a soft little, little chum thing out of it. And I'll be chumming with that. Sometimes I'll just throw just a little bit in there, just right where it was, and just sometimes you can see them come up to to the top. Let's see if they come up. No, I didn't see them. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they come up to the top. The other thing I've done, I've taken my watch off, and I've gotten all the things off of off my body that could catch the net. In other words, this net can catch on things. And so I don't want to have any kind of thing in my pocket, anything like that. Now, let me just show you what kind of net I'm using. It's important to have the right kind of net. Okay, let's, let's talk about nets for a second. This, this is a real high quality Calusa net. And this is made, uh, made here in, in the United States. And it's just a really good net. I've been using them for about 30 years. And I think it's the best net going. What this is, this is a little heavier. This has a 1.5 pounds per foot of weight. And that's just the right amount of water, I'm, I'm sorry, that's the right amount of weight to make the net sink just right in this depth of water. Okay, now the first step to do in a net is straighten it out, make sure it's all, the braille's in the right shape. I'm gonna take the seat away. the net I'm 
chum a little bit more. Another chum ball right there. Okay. Now, to straighten the net out, what I do is I just kind of go like this, and I just kind of go like this. I make sure it's, the brails are all straight, okay? And I'm just straightening the net out. It's all good shape. I'm just tangled at this point. Good deal. I'm going, to, I'm going to straighten the net. I'm going to put it out this way. I'm going to pull back and get it all, all in line. It's ready to go. Okay, now the next, the next step is it's a dry net right now. I don't have to have I don't have to have rain gear on. But as I throw the net, I'm going to have to put rain gear on. So right now I'm not going to put rain gear on. I'm just going to show you the first thing I do. First thing I do in, lo in loading the net is really, really critical to do this right. And there's YouTube videos on how to do it, and I'm doing it just exactly the professional way of doing it. The first thing, this loop, I don't want this have the loop binding my arm. I don't want to have throw it on an alligator or throw it on a manatee and have or throw it on a trolling motor when it's running or throw it on the main engine and have it running and pull it'll pull me in the water. That will pull me in the water. So what I do, I don't do that. So I can get out of this net, I throw on something that would take off. I just put my hand through like this, like this. Now I can always just pull it off. It just pulls off easy. Make two foot loops, like the boom. Little bitty loops, okay. Get a loop like this. Now my hands aren't real big. And so what I do is I get the net up like this and I don't want to make, I don't want to be holding too much net. So I'll take about that much net and hold it in my hand, okay? This much right here. I don't want to have too much stuff hanging down low. Too much, a little bit too much hanging down. So I'll get that tied right here, okay? Now, now I can straighten the net out, make sure it's twisted around the right way. First big loop, right about waist high. I'm coming in about waist high like this. Now I got the, I got the net waist high, and nothing's hanging below. No, none of this stuff is hanging below the net. Okay, the the first step I'm going to do is take about a fourth of the net and pull about a fourth of it out. Not much, just about that much. When I get about a fourth of the net out, I'm going to take this right here and come under. I'm going to come under my arm and over my shoulder. Okay? Let's do that again. I'm going to come under my arm and over the shoulder. Okay? Let me do that again. I'm going to take a fourth of the net. I'm going to come under my arm and over my shoulder. Okay? Now, this little part right here, you can put it in your mouth if you want. And you can you know, take a half of the net. Get half a net. It's left half of its weight. And get it all set up, okay? And then take that piece that's coming off right here. And now I'm ready to throw. To throw it, I'm just going to swing it back one time and come forward. Let's see what I got here. I'm going to pull the net back up. I got some shiners. Yeah. Now watch this. I'm going to pull it all the way up to the top. Now, the shiners are in the bag of the net. So, I'm 
gonna just kind of just lift them into the tank, lift them into that tank, and then pull the rails up again, nice and neat. Just kind of pull them up. Pull them up. Pull them up. There's some grass in there. There's some grass. There's some shiners. Some shiners. Yeah. Some good shiners. Okay. Get all this out. I'm gonna come over to the other side of the boat and drop this back in the water. And then take this graph. Come over here. Now that shiner, that's almost too big. I'm going to throw him back. The perfect size shiner is this size right here. That's just the perfect size. That's just perfect size. This is a good size. This is a good size. That's a good size. Okay, let me get a bucket of water. Now I put a little bit of water in the bucket like this. And I can count them. Okay, two, four, six. Thirty dollars worth of shiners, folks. That's thirty dollars worth of shiners. I just got. And when I pour it in, I'm going to make sure they don't jump out. So I'll pour it in real quick and close the bucket real quick. They don't. They jump a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to get another little thing of bucket of water and see if I can't do a better job. Show them a little bit more. I didn't have a real good throw that time. Wasn't as good as I wanted. Now this time what I'll do, you can see now, now the net's wet. So I always take these frog dogs <laughs> and to keep, keep them getting all wet, just all nasty. I just take a, a little light set of raw frog dogs and put on, even though it's kind of hot weather. I, at least I don't get wet this way because the net's wet. Okay, so some good rain gear helps a lot. Okay, okay, I got you know 15 shiners, that wasn't a whole lot, but I'm gonna show them a little bit more. Loop in my hand, short loops right here. Okay, but this is about two foot here. Now, it's just nice and straight. Get the net waist high. Okay, take a fourth of it, put it over my shoulder. Come under my arm, over my shoulder this way. Okay, and take this piece right here, get half of the net. Take that leading edge right here, and I'm ready to throw. Now I just have to just throw it out there. I'm just going to swing it out there. I'm just going to swing it back. Watch the net now. Swing it back. And... That's absolutely perfect throw. Can't be, can't do any better than that. It was 100% perfect. It was 100% perfect. I see some shiners coming up to the top. They're in the net, so it means that they're some in the net. I don't know how many. Pull it up and see. Let's pull it up and see what we got. Remember, these are $24 a dozen. So I've made two throws and got several dozen now. Okay. Put the net in there. Kind of pull it straight up. Let's 
Bring it down. I got a catfish in there. I got water in here. That's a perfect size. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, and two. Three or four. The rest of these are bluegills. Oh, 25. Now, you can't keep a bluegill. Gotta throw them back. Here's a, here's a big old bluegill. Can't keep them. That's 26 shiners. That's $50 worth of bait. Right there. I just got $50 worth of bait. Beautiful shiners. Woo, son. So I had 15 and 26. So what's 15 and 26? Okay, the first row I had 15 shiners, and the second row I had 26 shiners. That's 41 shiners. That's $80. That's basically $82 worth of bait. Okay. Okay, let's get a uh, let's get out of here. We're gonna run to another spot. Now, you might ask, you might ask how many shiners you need. Well, the beautiful thing about having a lot of shiners is that you can kind of chum with them. So, 41 shiners it might be enough for some people, but it's not near enough for me. I need a lot more shiners. Let's go catch them. Well, folks, getting dark. I gotta go. I got 12 dozen shiners, that's a gross. That's plenty for tomorrow. Hey, that's a couple hundred dollars, several hundred dollars and a lot of big bass. So I hope I've shown you a few things about how to cast a cast net, how to chum a hole, and how to catch your own bait, and how to save a ton of money. We'll see you again soon. Thank you, thanks for watching.